Hello my YouTube friends! OBS doesn't really have any zoom functions built in. There are ways to do it, but they have to be pre-planned and they don't really work on the fly during a live stream. Luckily, I found a way that you can have your screen zoom in and out at will based on the location of your mouse cursor. And you can even have the zoom follow your cursor and it's totally free. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know so you know what Let's get to it! Now the tool we're going to use for this is actually not a plugin. It's something called a script for OBS. So this is going to work on Linux, Mac, or Windows, and it's called Zoom to Mouse. And of course, there's a link down below in the description so you can download it with me and follow along. That is the best way to learn. Let's get it installed in our OBS. This is the page for this download, and you can see Windows, Mac, and Linux. And we're going to go to Downloads. And all we have to do is go ahead and grab the download. And it's this LUA. So we click on it and it automatically downloads. And we can just go into our downloads and put this somewhere where we're going to remember it. I'm probably just going to copy it into my documents here. And there we go. So now all we have to do is put this into OBS. So in OBS here, we just go to tools and then script, and we're gonna go and click the plus right here. And we could just go into our documents where we put it, select it, click open. So now you can see we've got a bunch of settings in here and stuff that I'm gonna go over in a moment, but that's how we install it. That was easy enough. Let me show you how it works. But first, I work really hard to try to create content that I think you're going to enjoy. Sometimes I hit, and sometimes I miss, but it's really hard to know for sure. And that's where you can really help me out. If you're enjoying this video, leave it a thumbs up. And if it's not your cup of tea, please don't hesitate to leave it a thumbs down. Now, if every single person watching this video leaves it a thumbs up or a thumbs down right now, I'm definitely gonna know if this is the kind of content you wanna see going forward. So thumbs up, thumbs down right now. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. Let me show you how this works. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go back into our tools and scripts and we're gonna set this up. We wanna select the source that we wanna zoom and that's gonna be our display capture. We can select how much we wanna zoom in and the speed at which we zoom, but it could follow outside bounds. We can set our follow speed and our follow border, which is the area around your mouse that you want it to go. The lock sensitivity, all that stuff. Um, there's some instruction here on how to do all that and we can get more info, but pretty much we're all set. In order to zoom, we're gonna have to go into our settings and we're gonna go into our hotkeys and we're just going to look for our mouse zoom here. So right here, toggle zoom to mouse and toggle follow mouse during zoom. Now, what that means is you can have it zoom in, but it doesn't have to follow the mouse you can basically decide that on your own. So what I'm gonna do is just select Z to toggle the zoom to mouse, and we're gonna select X to activate that. And now I can bring my mouse over here. If I click Z, you can see that it zooms in and it follows our mouse. And if I were to click X, it's not gonna follow my mouse anymore. It's just gonna stay on that zoom section. Click X again and it will follow the mouse. Now this uh, moves really fast. So what we could do is go ahead back to tools and you can see as soon as I click Z again, it automatically zooms us right back out. We're gonna go into tools. We're gonna go into scripts and I think we're gonna slow the speed down little bit and we're gonna bump this up our follow border and our lock sensitivity and let's see what we get now with that so we're gonna come up here and click Z and there we go we've got a little smoother follow it keeps a nice border edge around it so you can modify this in a lot of different ways but I like it I like it the thing is, is you just don't want it giving your folks any kind of motion sickness or anything like that. So I think if we adjust our lock sensitivity down lower, we're probably going to be spot on to where I would want to be. 
yeah so it'll move slower and I like that that looks pretty good that looks pretty good so that's pretty much how you use it and it's very very simple maybe we don't want it zoomed in that much all we have to do is go into tools and scripts and we can lower our zoom factor to one and I think one is going to be basically not zoomed at all. It is. So we'll go into tools and scripts. Bump it up a little bit. And there we go. And so now it zooms in a little less. You also have to kind of keep in mind that the screen that I'm showing here is actually 720. So it's a really small screen. Really small. But really simple to use I love the fact that you can actually turn off the follow if I use my hotkey and this is how you might use it in other ways but I'll talk about that in a second simple tool simple install a lot of cool things you can do with this one now there's a lot of different uses for this tool it makes it really easy to do tutorials for any application during a live stream or even recording so you can create video content for later you can use it on a lot of different sources and even integrate it into alerts through StreamerBot so your audience could zoom your screen in live. As usual, the only real limit is your imagination. Let me know how you plan to use the zoom to mouse tool in the comments below. I can't wait to hear all the creative ways you're going to use it. And if you want to see the OBS plugins I never stream without, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.